What's up guys, Chase fan number 9 here, and it, I know it's been a while, I've been out of town yesterday, and I'm back today, I had to do some stuff today, but I'm back, and it's that time again for another round of paint scheme previews, now without further ado, let's get into it. So, our first paint scheme we have up is Landon Castle in the classic Starcom paint scheme, Kurt Busch. Last week's winner at Kentucky, rocking that Monster Energy scheme. Makes me want to get one of those drinks after seeing that race, which, in fact, I did. Kozlowski driving the Alliance truck parts. Car looking fresh. He's on pole for Sunday, if you guys are wondering. And Kevin Harvard. Wow. When I first saw this paint scheme um, yesterday, I'm like, no, it was Wednesday. Um... I'm like, wow, th I think this might be one of the best Harvick Bush schemes I've seen in the last three years. It's the Bush Beer National Forest Foundation Ford. I like it. I like the waterfall design on the side. Make, makes people want to, the car gives off that outdoor feeling to it, you know? Especially with the fact that it also attributes from the commercial as well, which... I have to give them credit for so I like this one. I want to see Harvick win in this paint scheme on Sunday, so that should be interesting. Newman, not much except it's got Velveeta, and I like the design here on the side with how it's dots instead of fades. I'm not saying I hate the fades, I think this one looks better. It's the Oscar Mayer Vel Velveeta Ford. Chase Elliott, okay, rocking that Kelly Blue Book paint scheme. I think it was the first or second time he's run it this year. I think it's the second time. Didn't he run this at Texas? I'm not sure, but anyways, I like it. I like the gold number. It would be cool if they painted the wheels gold, too. It will make it stand out. If this was a chrome die cast, i get that. But most of them are the big size, so that's unfortunate. But I like this overall. I'm um, also rocking that Smithfield Denny Hamlin, okay, Ryan Blaney rocking that Menard paint scheme, but it's not Menard, it's Sylvania, I remember when Sylvania, guys remember when New Hampshire used to have two races before it became a standalone event, well the second race used to be called the Sylvania 300, which was a pretty interesting name, not saying I hate it, it was interesting, but anyway, I like this one, I like how the wheels are painted yellow, it would be weird if they painted it black. And I'm not saying I hate the yellow. I'm just saying it would just look weird. But I like this one. Clint Boyer with Toka Warranty and Haas Automation. Okay. Ricky Stanley's rocking that Fastenal paint scheme. Kyle Busch back in one of my favorite paint schemes. The Interstate Batteries car. car even though I don't like Bush's driver. But this is one of my two favorites. The other is the Skittles car. Truex rocking that Sirius XM car. Eric Jones, I think it's the second time he's ran the Stanley car, and I, I like it. Reminds me a lot of the 19. This should become the primary sponsor for the car, Stanley, and I'll, I might as well get I know, know I've never said much about the Stanley car, but I've actually liked this paint scheme for some reason. I think it's just because of the colors, but that's... Paul Menard, I heard Paul Menard is expected to be with the Wood Brothers next year. But he's at that point where he should drop down to the lower series. And also, he released a new throwback paint scheme this week. To, it's an honor of the late um, Glenn David Pearson or Glenn Wood or something. What? I can't remember everything. But anyway, Joey Logano rocking that triple A paint scheme. Looking nice, looking nice. William Byron looking nice in that Liberty University paint scheme. Sorry if I have to keep going up and down, but compute. Chris Bush are driving the number 37 Scott Comfort Plus. Which it would be cool if they painted the wheels pink or this. I like this is the best color design I've seen on any of Chris Bush's cars in a while, and I, I'm loving it. Compressor World sponsoring that 38 machine of David Reagan this week. And also, William Byron is running some paint scheme. I forgot what it's called, but I'm not sure when he's going to run it, but I'll, I'll have to look at it again. But anyways, 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Suarez, last week's pole sitter, rocking the usual Haas automations for Kyle Larson. It's McDonald's, but do you notice anything different about the car? What do you see on it? Oh, that's right. It's got Ronald McDonald's house charities. I'm surprised they're still operating the McDonald's house charity. So I like to see that they're back on the car. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Bubba Wallace rocking that Victory Junction for Chevrolet. Ryan Priest, not much on there, but still giving off that patriotic vibe. Johnson, we already know what your paint scheme is, buddy. So Johnson's starting 10, so I think he has a good shot. Quinn Half in the hashtag my track my roots Chevrolet. Okay, looking nice. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Alex Bowman. From what I heard he broke a shaft in qualifying, so I guess that's why he had to start last, but who cares? He can win from the back anyway. And Matt De Benedetto, I'm surprised you got a good starting spot seventh. Starting seventh. Yep, this is not clickbait. This is true. If you don't believe me, go to NASCAR's website and find it. But anyways, I guess that's pretty much it. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to get notifications for all my videos. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.